Comrade Stockhausen, I took that foreign journalist for the secret tour of the BDNH. He saw everything. You should have seen his eyes bugging out of his head. They're gonna be dying of envy when his article comes out. They'll slap more sanctions on us and order an extra bunch of bots. <laughs> Those capitalists sure are a weird bunch, huh? Charles, you think Volatova was in cahoots with Petrov because of more than just love, right? What makes you so sure? I should note that Larissa Falatova is an accomplished and talented scientist. She independently completed a project that most of the world's greatest scientific minds could not have accomplished. What's your point? She is far from stupid and would never blindly follow orders without serious justification, no matter who might be giving them. Are you trying to say that good people are turning on the boss and he's getting rid of them? <laughs> so Petrov's actually a nice guy? People whom the motherland has given everything must have serious reasons for betraying her. But the bloody path Petrov has chosen is unacceptable. A capitalist collaborator. Fuck him. I could not agree more. Please select the desired procedure. What are you doing all the way down here? Head back up this instant. Your suit isn't designed for this kind of pressure. What pressure? Where do you think we are? We're underwater, comrade. We're running a check on a deep sea device. Just look. We got fish, sea creatures, and other fauna all around us. Get back up to the surface, Frogman. This is interesting. What's interesting is how you can withstand this kind of pressure. If you don't get back to the surface right now, you're a dead man. Off you go, Frogman. Keep your left arm up and watch where you're going. Steer clear of those rotors. Hey, what's the matter with this guy, Charles? I mean, I get that he's dead and all, but still. This is the neural network's equivalent of PTSD. If a victim dies suddenly, their consciousness can modulate an alternate perception of reality based on their preferences and environment. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Right. What do we have here? 
Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine, like an excavator, like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This'll be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you have any idea what you're doing, Major? <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Let us nice! Recall. Easy. Summer morn, when warmth and beauty mingle, at the path's turn, a carcass lay asprawl. Upon a bed of shingle, legs raised like some old whore, far gone in passion, the burning, deadly, poison sweating mass, opened its paunch in careless, cynic fashion, ballooned with evil gas. On this putrescence, the sun blazed in gold, cooking it to a turn with eager care. So to repay to nature hundredfold what she had mingled there, the sky, as on the opening of a flower, on this superb obscenity smiled bright. The stench drove at us with such fearsome power, you thought you'd swoon outright. Flies trumpeted upon the rotten belly, whence larvae poured in legions far and wide, and flowed like molten and liquescent jelly down living rags of hide. The mass ran down, or like a wave elated, rolled itself on and crackled as if frying. You'd think the corpse by vague breath animated through life. From multiplying through that strange world, a rustling rumor ran like a rushing water or a gust is of the air. Pride of facility <coughs> 3826. <coughs> with the floating platforms made of flight took place in 1950. It seemed it a dream. The foundation of a city called Chalamet, named in honor of its design department. The yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts. to Red Square by itself on March 1st, 1950. How does it fly, Charles? The Icarus? Via propeller, Major. Why do you ask? I was thinking maybe it was those magnetic cushions. Like, maybe it was bouncing off of underground magnets or something. It's such a shame you never studied science. I mean, imagine if we had secret underground tunnels full of magnets all over the Soviet Union, and it was flying over them. What a bright idea. But our various facilities are essentially underground tunnels, and some of them do have magnets in them. I'd love to see them. But they sure did pick a weird name for the platform. How so? Well, that Icarus guy. Things didn't go so well for him, flew too close to the sun and got fried. I read about it in school. Hmm. Your knowledge of mythology is impressive, Major. Have you activated military drill mode yet? Molotov's condor is about to land. Everything's all set. I'm gonna go do it now. Uh, hurry, hurry! You only have a couple of minutes. 
Saving data. Right. Installing the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero, oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank you. All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. First launch code sequence generated. Please confirm that launch code sequence is matched. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Initiated. All employees have to evacuate the complex immediately. Please, Comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichaev, uh, forgive me. Agent P3 has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov. You're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the procurator general's decree. The upcoming launch of the collective neural network will be canceled and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door.
Wake up, my lord. P3, my boy. You're alive. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Comrade Sechenov! The government commission... they're dead. Molotov's body is here. What about the others? How many people were with him? Fifteen or so. Some of them may have survived. Find out. Uh, what the fuck happened here? Who the fuck did this? Guess the robots got in. You were fortunate to escape unharmed. C Comrade Sechenov, all the members of the Commission are dead. All of them. This is tragic, but it changes nothing. Collective must still be activated. I couldn't agree more. But what should we do with the dead Politburo member? We don't have a lot of options here. Right? Handle it. Mikhail, head to the radio station and make sure power to the government line has been cut. Make it quick. Uh, yes, sir, but the Kremlin will be expecting a report from Comrade Polotov. I will personally inform the Politburo of this tragedy. Hurry, Mikhail. We don't have much time. Left. Help her. How are you doing, my boy? Not good. I failed you again. This is... too much. It's too much for all of us, this terrible incident.
What was that? A tribute to the departed. Conversation off. Uh, we've got a problem. The central hub is broadcasting. Someone is trying to send information to the West. Who? Who could have done that? There are only two people who could have done it. You and Petrov. Petrov's dead. I saw his body. Just his body. Petrov is first and foremost a head. It was his body. How's that possible? I feel a lot of... Hmm. When your accomplice is a neurosurgeon of Dr. Falatova's caliber, then anything is possible. Have you traced the signature? Petrov is masking his signature, but I'm sure he's in one of the scientific centers. Did you hear that, my boy? Go find him. Right now. What the hell happened down there? What exactly are you asking about? Who killed the government commission? How did I survive? Sorry, I cannot help you. You suddenly lost consciousness as though you'd been struck from behind. When that happened, I was also disabled. What was that monster made of red polymer? That was a neuropolymer data storage. A data storage? What does it store? Dead bodies? The boss said it was a tribute to the departed. What's that got to do with data? You will have to ask Dr. Sechenov himself. For my part, all I can say is that Professor Zaharov died the exact same way. This is fucking nuts. I really thought the polymer was harmless. <sighs> Fair enough. Find Petrov and return to Chelome as soon as possible. This will be the best outcome for everyone. Charles, why did that monster, you know, the red polymer thing, the, the data storage, why did it look like a person? Dr. Sechenov's idea. He wanted it to move independently. Why would a data storage need to walk around? So it could run off someplace and get lost along with all its important information? It won't run off. It's as loyal to Dr. Sechenov as the ballerina twins. When Dr. Sechenov releases it into the outside world, it always remains near him as an additional security measure. Security? So it can attack people? What do you think, comrade major? Why would a neuropolymer substance capable of dissolving a human being in mere seconds need to be able to move independently? Shit on a shingle? You're telling me that Jelly Man can sneak up behind someone and kill them instantly without leaving a trace? It does remind me of a certain person who died under mysterious circumstances and without witnesses after slipping and falling into a bath. Crispy critters. Yeah, makes you think. So Charles, when Dr. Sechenov sends his twins somewhere on an assignment with, say, Stockhausen, He's guarded by that red monster? Makes sense. Comrade Stockhausen is incapable of independently reaching his destination within a facility swarming with hostile robots, and Sechenov would never remain unguarded. Why? He's a hero of the Soviet Union. Everybody loves the guy. Why would anybody want to hurt him? Why indeed, Comrade Major? You think there are people in the Kremlin who are jealous of him and want to get rid of him? It's more likely that they just want power over Collective. If you rule the world, it's hardly surprising if people want to take your throne. Very powerful people. I'd rather have Dr. Sechenov be the General Secretary of Collective than anybody else. The General Secretary? Is that what you think he's going to be? Of course. What else would he be? I hope you're right. <clears throat> Charles, how could that prick Petrov send intel to the West? The facility's under lockdown. Petrov cannot transfer anything directly to anyone, or he would have already done so. That is why he is attempting to deceive Collective Central Control Hub. Are you talking about that big-ass ball floating in the sky? You mean Petrov's somewhere close by? I believe so. The emergency protocol has blocked most communication between Facility 3826 and the outside world. This block cannot be overcome. An entire scientific academy would be required, such as the Academy of Consequences. Then what's he hoping to accomplish? As you have no doubt already observed, 
there is one communication channel connected to the outside world that is not subject to the emergency protocol. The secret government line. Quite right. That channel is used by Dr. Sechenov to contact the Kremlin. No one else has access to it. Yeah, no one except Granny Zena. So, what's Petrov trying to pull? I believe he is trying to dupe the central hub by passing himself off as Dr. Sechenov. That son of a bitch. Charles, is there really a chance Petrov could fool the hub? It wasn't exactly programmed by morons, right? They must have put protections in place. Petrov is a talented engineer and programmer. There's a reason he made it to Facility 3826. He's the one who optimized the programmer-to-robot and robot-to-robot -robot digital data transfer protocols. So he knows better than anyone how the central hub works. Does that mean Petrov could actually fool the hub? Then why did Dr. Sechenov trust these protocols to a single guy? It's temporary. After the launch of Collective 2.0, digital communication channels will be rendered useless and irrelevant. Everything will be transmitted via neuropolymer wave emission. Binary code will be left in the dustbin of history. And so will programmers. No wonder Petrov is so pissed. He wants to fuck shit up while he still can. In broad strokes, although I suspect that Petrov has other motives. He's a traitor to the motherland. Fuck his motives. How long do we have to stop him? Hacking Collective Central Hub is a very difficult task. Even with the right communication equipment, Petrov will need considerable time to do it. So where can he find that kind of equipment? Other than the Science Center. Only aboard the Flying Chelemay Complex. And nowhere else? <laughs> That's great. Your goose is cooked now, Petrov. You traitorous dead. Hey, Charles. What does the Sechenov Center study? Radio waves, Comrade Major. It contains equipment that will help Petrov detect you. So move with caution. I guess we better stay quiet then. your time now. Don't brush it. Just a little more. No, I'm not ready yet, my dear. Intriguing, isn't it? Just wait a little longer. You're fired! Fuck you and the horse you rode in on, Pestsov! You've been tracking radio waves from space for three years and waiting for aliens? That was a goddamn microwave oven! I hope you get killed by a meteorite, you fucking asshole. I've had it up to here with you.
Can you do that, Charles? Buzzing? Look what we have here. You killed him! That's enough, Victor! So much death! I just knocked him out! He's unconscious, okay? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against deceit and troubles, and by opposing in them... You know, it's, it's all wrong, it's all wrong. I don't agree. I'm sorry, Larissa, but I don't understand. He ruined everything, and you, you... I'm a doctor. Enough people have died today. People, Larissa! He's an animal! He'll rip anybody's throat out of such enough orders him to... Victor, he's tied up. I'll program a treatment, and then we'll go. Go where? No one's coming for us. And this fucking lunatic's ruined our escape plan! I know. We'll come up with something. I doubt it. <laughs> Just let me go, and I promise I'll make it quick <laughs> and painless. So such enough talk and talk, huh? Look, he just came to and he's already threatening us! <laughs> yeah, I am threatening you. How many people have your robots slaughtered without so much as a warning? Petrov? Two thousand? Three thousand? That's not Victor's fault. <sighs> it was a local malfunction. A local malfunction. Then why the shit doesn't your boyfriend have a scratch on him, huh? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? First Vavilov, then the VDNH. The robots are attacking everyone except you two. Why is that if you're not controlling them? <laughs> Victor? You said you had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and you believed him! What other bullshit has this guy told you? <laughs> oh, man. Victor! I had no choice! A simple malfunction wouldn't have changed anything! <gasps> How could you? Hmm? Huh? How could I? You said it yourself, the whole world might end. Huh? 
Hmm? No, don't touch me. <laughs> you really didn't tell her anything, did you? <laughs> A big mistake. Hey, what the hell? Hey, Larissa, wait! Larissa! Nothing can save you now, asshole. P3 to Chelome. Petrov got away. Again. You seem to enjoy chasing the man, Nechayev. Petrov must not interfere with the launch of Collective. Find the criminal. Now. You have drawn the wizard's ire, Comrade Major. No shit. Get off my grill, will ya? Already free, Major? Oh, what, did you not expect to hear from me? Not only can I hear you just fine, I'm gonna see you real soon, too. So get ready, prick. Trust me, the preparations are well underway. There will be surprises, dog. You turned Larissa against me, bitch. She doesn't return my calls. Yeah, you're breaking my heart. I don't give two wet farts about your relationship. Charles, can you trace the call? Where is that shit stain? The signal's coming from the Plisetskaya Theater. A theater? Right here in the facility? <laughs> what a clown. It's a theater, Comrade Major, not a circus. Marking the waypoint. <laughs> Whatever. I won't let that traitor get away from me again. Another dead village. Yeah, Blotchkovo. The facility complexes, especially Pavlov, obtain certain resources from here. The automatic sorting hub is used to provide the nearby factory with birds and animals for creating neuropolymers. Science is a real zero-sum game for game. What a clever pun. I'm impressed. Yeah, whatever.
Ah, crispy critters. An overgrown dumpling like that almost burned me down back in Forrester Village. You're now fully on, Comrade Major. We won't be able to enter the theater as long as the Beliash is guarding the entrance. We'll be inside in five minutes flat. I can't... Wait to pay that thing back with interest. these goddamn things! What's up? Still buzzing? Head. Stay down. Ha! Nailed it. Shy of scores.
getting started. So what if she's a robot? People have never been nice to me, but she is. The way she looks at me, it's like there's a stream of pure energy in her eyes. And she understands me uh, better than any girl ever has. Anyway, I've made up my mind. I'm proposing to her tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, Vasilich? Are you working here or not? Holy shit, I'm coming. Charles, can you track Petrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Petrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten scumfuck is hiding away in some dark corner, and he's gonna sit there and hope the robots kill me before I find him. I ought to warn you that Petrov knows this theater quite well. He has good reason to hope for such an outcome. Hope is dangerous. It'll lull him into a false sense of security. How does Petrov know this theater so well? It was one of the areas his activities were focused on before he was declared a traitor. So, he's a nostalgic puppet master, huh? He configured and tested the theater's robots and also programmed and studied the interplay of various crafts. In a certain sense, Collective was born on the stage of this theater. Give me intel on the theater. The Maya Plisetskaya Theater was founded at the facility in 1948. It was the first theater in the world to use robots as performers. It is the most famous theater in the Soviet Union, so tickets can be quite hard to come by. So it's for the rich and powerful. You have no idea. Before the theater was fully roboticized, party members would order the best ballerinas in the Soviet Union to be transferred here. But after the performers were replaced with robots, it became so successful, it's now easier to get an apartment near the Kremlin than it is to attend a performance here. Can you tell me anything more useful and less disgusting? As part of the facility, the theater is without a doubt a scientific establishment. Its artistic vein is melded with commerce, as is the study of robot behavior and human reactions to it. I have no combat-related data. How does Petrov... Let's go see what's what. Just do one thing for me, okay? Find that crazy son of a bitch and kill him! Deal? He killed so many innocent people. Please, I'm begging you! Here's the month who did all this. He reprogrammed all the robots. Last Dutchkin. Not Petrov? Your cue, Comrade Major! Are you here to finish me off, dog? Then come on down! I am all yours! It's my button to talk to me.
You're like a dog. Your master sticks you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do me a favor. And do it in my charge, okay? What is that? Ooh, uh, oh, it was electrified. <laughs> it's a trap. Son of a bitch! I'm still gonna get you! Hang on, comrade major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a crawl. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, comrade major? I've had worse. Much worse. He's not getting away from me. Welcome to Maya Plusetskaya Robotic Theater, home of... Right, I'll be gone if you need me. Terribly angry with you. Give sorrow words. The grief that Ooh. does not speak knits up the Orod heart and bids it break. can take me as a conversation partner. When will you finally kill that scumbag Petrov? How long are you going to keep chasing him? Uh, don't rub it in. I'm sick and tired of that deranged bastard. He made his stupid robots kill people. Now it's so difficult to find enough people to string up. Change the subject or shut your face. Do you love me, sugar? Oh, tell me. You could enter me more often. Yeah, right. Even more often, huh? There isn't enough polymer in the world to satisfy you. I'm a woman who appreciates the finer things, sugar. And I don't come cheap. 
Oh, there's so much more I wish I could do for you. But if you want me to give it my all, it's gonna cost you. Yeah, I noticed. Does it feel good to be with me, handsome? Yeah, I'm over the fucking moon. Now get on with it. Oh, what a brutish rough male. Oh, I'm on fire. When is this shit gonna end? Yeah. Please come closer. Let's have a chat. I'm Push my back. Come talk to me. Welcome you to a roboticized theater. It's the first of its kind in the world, and it's based on your design. I've made a few little tweaks here and there, of course. Comrade Sechenov, Comrade Zaharov, please follow me. What a wonderful evening, Dmitri. What an incredible performance. I propose a toast to Vossov. Science has never been so close to, uh, triumph. Where do guys like Petrov even come from in a flourishing society like ours? Welcome to our mind-blowing show. The main character is about to get mobbed by the audience. <laughs>
Have you found Petrov's trail, Comrade Major? I've driven him into a trap. He's got nowhere to run. Is Dr. Filatova with him? No, Petrov's alone. Aren't you maybe just a little too interested in what happens to her stock? You didn't happen to betray your friend because of her, did you? You just crossed the line, Major P3. I demand that you cease these outrageous insults at once. And I demand that you shut up and stop annoying me with your pointless existence. I am carrying out the order of Dr. Sechenov. Dmitry Sergeyevich wants to know when to deliver Petrov to him. Your protege has nowhere to run. He's gone nuts. He's watching me through the cameras, reciting poetry, and screaming hysterically into the loudspeaker. I'll take him alive within the hour. Try not to fail, Dmitry Sergeyevich, at least this time. Fuck you. You shouldn't behave like this. Comrade Stockhausen is blameless. He is genuinely trying to help. Yeah, right. He's genuinely trying to steal Petrov's woman. This is Stockhausen. Victor confessed his slander of Comrade Sechenov. He is already starting to rally a large number of followers and is planning to destroy Soviet society's faith in the better future that is collective. Yes, I have the recording. Tomorrow at the Botanical Garden. Send in the Department of Corrections. Cash will be fine. Thank you. Dirty as agreed. Saving data. Saving data. I had to do it. I had to. Sachinov is going to kill us all. He's toying with us and with you too. But you can't really blame him for that, I suppose. Madness in great ones must not unwatch go. for what they are, or the truth will catch you unawares. Do you hear me, dog? Mine was not the original sin. It all started with Sechnov. I was just an unsuspecting victim. I'll tell you what I want. I want her. 
I want to embrace her, to protect her, to cherish her. And no one can stand in our way. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players, and that includes me. I'm going to play my greatest role here at this theater. And my robots will assist me. It'll be the greatest show of all time. It should be awesome. Have some special day and day that will become momentous indeed. I think I even know which day to pick. Let the whole world drown in blood. We just need to survive until that moment. Until the day when collective updates to version 2.0 and shatters into a million pieces. That's when we'll take the greatest step in our lives. And Larissa will be ours. Ah. You miserable dog! I will show you the duality of this world! It's all a matter of perspective, isn't it, P3? Do you decide what to do? Or is it decided for you? It doesn't matter which side you see things from. Top or bottom? Left. Gosh, you brainless mutt! You'll never understand! be doing this, Nietzscheev. All I wanted was to be happy with my woman. Weren't you ever happy with yours? Do you even know what happiness is? That's mighty profound, you sick fuck, but it won't help you. How the hell could I even know if I was happy or not? I wish I did, but here we are. So, is everybody here? We got the girls, the men are here too. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. My wife's sick. And I had to pick my kids up from daycare and... It's okay, Constantine. We get it. Have a seat. Yeah, thanks. Sorry. Well then, comrades. Why have I brought you all together at such a late hour? <laughs> How much longer will we tolerate the yoke of bourgeois vice in this sacred home of art. <coughs> How much longer will the gluttonous despot fray our nerves and pull our strings like a perverted puppet master? How much longer will there be foul fingers? Uh, uh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. What I wanted to say is, Lassotkin is an asshole. Pardon my French. But we can't just sit back while our girls and some of our boys get turned into bourgeois prostitutes. Well now, what do we have here? Boys, very good. <gasps> and girls too, eh? Hmm, excellent. Arrest them.
Charles. Yes, Major. Petrov's lost his shit. Following an analysis of Petrov in light of his recent quarrel with Larissa Filatova, I have drawn the same conclusion. You analyzed him? It's a common scenario. He loved her. Their perspectives on life grew apart. She ended the relationship. He lost his mind. Huh. Makes sense, I guess. Say, are the ballerinas here? Just ballerinas. The topic of robosexuality is extremely popular among the Soviet elite. Robosexual lobbies have become quite powerful, and it would seem that the sale of related services is flourishing at the theater. In other words, no, the ballerinas are not just ballerinas. Do you think the boss knows about this? What do you think? Well, given the robots he's chosen as bodyguards, guess he's a robosexual himself. According to Ozhigov's Dictionary of the Russian Language, the word robosexual is a facetious term for a person who enjoys intimate relations with machines, generally while manipulating... Okay, I get it. He can go ahead and manipulate whatever he wants. What he does with those androids of his is none of my business. But I gotta admit... They are kind of hot. Stand down for now. Hush. Authorization. Major Nichayev, Kodnik. Are you off your nut, Vasilich? Those party members can do whatever the fuck tickles their fancy, but you? What, you haven't got fucked enough by electricity in your life, so you want to get revenge by fucking it back? Anyway, 
I saw you making googly eyes at that doll in the dressing room. She's a bot, Vasilich. A robot. People keep asking me, hey, why is that electrician always in the coat check room? Why isn't he working? I ain't gonna cover your ass no more. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're making us both look bad. The electrician's the only one who knows the code for this door! Damn his eyes! So where do I find him? Fuck the vino! The electrician's the only one who knows the code for this door! Damn his eyes! So how did you give up the ghost? Was it mutants? Electrocution, damn it! So are you the electrician? No, I'm not! But if you find Vasilich, you put him down like a fucking dog! You hear me? Kill that lousy egghead son of a bitch! That yeah, will do. After he gives me the code. He keeps yammering about electricity! You know it when you meet him! Alive or dead, what's the difference? We're all just electrical stream. Just ones and zeros. Every power outlet knows that. One, five, zero, six, zero, six, fifteen. What's that, a code or something? Are you dumb? It is the date of the new concert. Everybody knows that. Even simple electricians know that. It must be the code. Let's go check it out. What was it? Zero, six, fifteen. How am I supposed to enter it? The password appears not to be a password at all. Stefan, this is nuts. You've gone too far here. Stefan, my name is Stefan, not Stepan. And what exactly have I gone overboard from, Maris Rudolph, the ship of decency? The only ship of decency we have to worry about is our patrons' wishes. What do we always say in the Soviet Union? All in the name of man for the good of man. And these men need to walk out of here with smiles on their faces. I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. You're a fine artist, and you've got a bright future ahead of you. Don't get in your own way, or the robots will push you to the sidelines of history. Okay. You can go now. Shoot!
once in a lifetime opportunity. No more artist clubs, no more orders to high, no more memos or approval processes. Just take it, make it, and let it be. And it's going to be great. The name of Lapsos, the world's first robo director, will resound throughout the world. Oh, robo director. I need to come up with a better title and a better name. Oh, most importantly, I need to keep the boxes happy, and then no one will say boo. Holy smoke!
Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. I am now operating within normal parameters. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. Sechnov says, sick him, and you can't disobey. That's fine. Solve my puzzle, P3. I'll try to reach you. The ballerina's training is proceeding magnificently. We just need to show them the proper ballet positions. It's a shame they aren't connected to the primary neural network. Just imagine what we could teach them. And most importantly, no polymer injections whatsoever. Truly fantastical women. Just say the name of the position and that's it. And it doesn't have to be a ballet position either. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kinda out of my depth here. Relevé in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? Quasé in the fourth position. Anything else worth checking out? Attitude. Anything else? Batemon Tony Arms Free. Oh, you're talented. This isn't new to you, though, is it? Enough for now. Do you want to see the same scenes repeated all around us? Or would you rather choose clear sky, carefree birdsong, and all the comforts of home? Unless you want to hear the heavy footfalls of the robot army marching against mankind, stand down. Debug mode initiated. Your, Your move, Charles. I... Relevé in the fingers. Any check? Attitude? Enough for now. Debug mode uh, I don't really get this. First arabesque. Let's run. Quasse in the fifth position. Arms in the sh Let's open your eyes and see the truth, dog. Why can't Attitude? you see the obvious? Collective will be the death of us all. Let's such an passe is nothing but a self-indulgent fool. Let's try. <sighs> Fine. Quasse in the fifth position, arms in the third position. I'll open the okay, final door. Okay, that's enough. Come on stage, hero, and dazzle our choice public with your creative. This was supposed to be a real show, and now no one will ever see it except a stray dog. You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... Dead. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechnov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechnov's plans are far 
far worse than this, and he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap! You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode! <laughs> Sorry, that's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. Huh. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. And it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilame. Come in, Chilame. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Wrong. Wrong again. Regret and self-pity will be your lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on Earth! Today, debut of a new rising star. Please bear with us if the act seems a bit unpolished. The young is still rather shy, but we'll work out the kinks as we go. After all, there's nothing wrong with a little kink, is there? It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha!
Major, you... Not now. Let's just not talk for a while, okay? Sergei, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Hey, you! Yes, you with the dumb face. Get over here. What did you just say? Oh, my! Do you really not understand plain human speech? All right, never mind. Just drag my body to the entrance. When the rescue workers arrive, I want them to find me first. My magnificent body will grace the first pages of newspapers everywhere, not just in the Soviet Union. Come on, dummy, don't just stand there like a debutante. The theater director commands you. Ah, so you're the one who turned this place into a whorehouse. Oh, so you're another bullheaded prude. I gave people what they want and deserve. Everything can be bought and sold, and every person's soul comes with a price tag attached. All you have to do is figure out the currency they accept. You're fucking demanding for a dead man, you know that? <gasps> you don't say. Are you showing your teeth? <laughs> what a delightful, if plebeian, expression. Remember, boy, puffing your chest and showing off character does not mean you're actually in possession of said character. Come on, do what you're told already. You are a lackey of sectionoffs. You should be used to being bossed about. I lost my interest in talking to you. What is your current status, Comrade Major? I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit, that's my goddamn status. I failed my mission, again. Victor's dead, and I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay, but I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat! Robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me neither. Shit. Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Fading data. Authorization. Major Ne-
It's not my fault, Stefan. Sechnov is the one who's insane, not me. They're his robots, not mine. And he made them like this. Oh, I was so blind. So much blood. Everywhere. He'll do whatever it takes to bury it all. And nobody will even give a fuck. Am I the only one who's resisting it? The blood on my hands is justified. But what about Sechnov? What about that stupid attack dog of his? Did you enjoy the show? Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechinov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the Beta Connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the Beta Connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a Beta Connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. 
Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right. He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. Autolysis starts approximately seven. Everything's fine. Take it easy now. The bosses know what they're doing. Demon, I haven't even been here a week yet, and I've already seen enough corpses for a lifetime. I thought this place was going to be a regular clinic. I had no idea it was like this. <laughs> Didn't the fact that this place is a secret complex tip you off? You're a little green to be...